Hi guys, we are in the Willamette Valley, right, right outside Salem. We're talking about Pinot Noir, the world famous Oregon world Pinot Noir. Famous. Right here, grown in this soil. Go try us! Let's go. Woo! Try us! The Willamette Valley is Oregon's leading wine region, found only about 45 minutes south of Portland. It has two-thirds of the state's wineries and vineyards, and today we're visiting four of the top ones. So I just arrived at Left Coast Winery, and first thing that stood out to me are these beautiful mature trees all over the property. It is gorgeous. It's like being in a park. This estate is so beautiful. We're in a 400 year old oak forest right oak. here. Look at these panoramic views. You can see the coast range, the hills, the mountains, the fresh air, and it's a family run vineyard. So come and check this out when you guys are in Oregon. The bottle has the map, the original map from the Lewis and Clark Expedition. Lewis and Clark Expedition. At Left Coast, we were invited by founders Bob and Suzanne on quite an adventure in a vintage Toyota Land Cruiser. We ride through the nearly 500 acre estate where the world class wine is produced. On the right bank, and this is the Omar strain of Pinot Noir. During the ride, we take in the sweeping vistas and get an up-close view at the vines. We also learn about the sustainable winemaking process. Much of the production is done through solar energy. Of course. Yeah. This is incredible. So we're at the top of Left Coast Winery. We had a little bit of this white Pinot Noir. Very unique. Full-bodied like a red, but it's actually a white. We're at the top of the property, so beautiful views towards the coast range. And this is the Van Duzer, American Viticultural Area. We took this really cool land cruiser tour, and it's just gorgeous up here, so peaceful. Now we head into the tasting room to try the finished product. The flagship wine here is the Cali Cuvée, which is dry and crisp and easy on the palate. We pair it with a wood-fired seasonal margarita pizza, topped with fresh roasted tomatoes and garden herbs. Mm. Vineyards. We are now at Johan Vineyards at the Willamette Valley and check out this property. It's so rustic here, so beautiful. We had some rain in the forecast, but it has cleared up a little bit. Just look at this beautiful pastoral background. It looks like a painting. doing the exploration tasting today at Johan. This was started by a Norwegian family. All of the wines are grown on the property. They have a number of animals on the property as well, including ducks and chickens. They sell eggs and they have 16 varietals of grapes here. Including really amazing Pinot Noir. This Cheers. is the flagship. Really Perfect good. dry finish. So good. Love it. And especially with these pastoral views, it really looks like we're in a watercolor painting. So green out here, and so fresh, with all the wildflowers. So this property is really cool because they have this nice outdoor patio, but you can come and sit anywhere out here. You can also just take your wine and go for a little walk, go hiking. So this right here is called hiking. It's similar to hiking, but through wine trails. We have a number of trails that go through these vineyards. The 
Look at this tree. It's like a big pink piece of cotton candy. And this property is exquisite. Beautiful little pods that you can sit in. And look at this estate. It just stretches beyond the horizon. <laughs> this right here that I have is the Chardonnay and it is grown on the estate here. This is living. This is living. I'm enjoying some Chardonnay at this family-run vineyard. I'm honestly at a loss for words. <laughs> cheers. All I can say, cheers. So this is a family-owned vineyard here, kind of close to the Salem region. And as you can see, these pastoral landscapes are just gorgeous. This vineyard was founded in 1983, and they're famous for their Pinot Noir, but today we are trying a flight. Three. Cheers! Woo! Mmm. This one's really good. Really low on tannins. So we got the salad, the artisan cheeses with cheeses from the region here in Oregon. We got the Dungeness Crab Dip, the Steelhead with curry rice, and the shrimp mac and cheese. Mm. How is the mac and cheese? Amazing. Mm. Look at the grape leaves just budding out. It's April, not time for harvest yet. This is one of the main reasons why you need to visit this region. They're famous for the Pinot Noir. You can taste it at the tasting room, overlooking this beautiful landscape. The Pinot Noirs are so like full-bodied and fruity and it's a great place to take your family, take your friends, and enjoy the beautiful nature here. This is a former, can you believe it, prune, prune. orchard. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about going from sad juice to fun juice, aka Pinot Noir, the world famous Oregon World Pinot Noir. This is the Coria Estate. Look at this gorgeous property on the hill. And we're at the Coria Estates. So right now we want to show you something really special because yesterday was Earth Day. And this is the bud of the vine. It's growing. I kind of see the even the grape fruit forming right there. And look at these rows of beautiful, well taken care of vines here. This is just amazing. And as you go through panoramically, you can see the vineyards, Christmas tree farms, pine tree farms, and then the cascades. two that we're trying are award-winning. The Pinot Noir is a Silver San Francisco Chronicle award winner and the last one is a wine enthusiast. 92 points. Gear up! Woo! Here we go. This one is the 2017 Grey Label Pinot Noir from Coria Winery. Let's go. Cheers. Oh. Wow. wow. Dry but not Ooh. too dry. Yum. Very smooth finish. A little spice on there. Spice on the spicy clove. on the back of the tongue. Mm. And a delicious mm. aroma too. Wow. wow, that's a very drinkable one. Very dry. You can see why that got the award. Not we easy. have saved the best for last. We have the 2016 Mary Sharon Pinot Noir. This is a wine and this is 92 points. The big one. Cheers. Ooh. Nice aroma. Wow. Oh, wow. Interesting. Bold. Yeah. A little bit of a spicier taste. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so we are enjoying the view and the last one, the last Pinot Noir is a winner. We're taking it home. Bam. The rural landscapes and friendliness of the people here at these family-owned wineries really made us feel at home and we loved the Pinot Noirs. We hope you get a chance to visit the Willamette Valley very soon. Links in the descriptions for each of the wineries. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, share with your friends, and subscribe for more travel videos.